Hi guys, welcome back. And on this channel, we sometimes talk about lifestyle, DIY, fashion, and budgeting like this video right here. So stay tuned. Okay, so let me pull the money up because I didn't even do that. I just shoved all the money in here. Uh, this video is going to be very fast because uh, I'm not stepping as much as I do usually um, in my cash steppings. Um, I actually am going on a trip this month and I'm going on another one next month and another one after that. And also I'm paying a lot of debt off too. So there's not going to be a lot of cash stepping um, going on. So let me just... So we're starting the travel binder. So I'm just gonna scoot this to the side. So a lot of the envelopes are not gonna be nothing like miscellaneous. We're not gonna put nothing in here. For gas, we're gonna do 60, but I have a dollar, I guess, left over. So we're gonna put that to the side. And we're gonna do 60, 20, 40, 60. Household is going to get that thing, and groceries is not going to get anything either. So that's going to be it for my trap binder. I'm going to put that one to the side. I combined my kids' binder and my binder together since we have less cash envelopes. Um, so Hobby is going to be getting $10. Or actually, let us get Hobby because I don't think I put anything for Hobby. Um, car maintenance, I did use the money in car maintenance. Um, I did get an oil change because I am taking my car out to California when I drive um, for our, our family vacation. And then also a light came on on my Ford. It said, um, crap, I forgot what it said. I'll put it right here what it said. But basically I took it to like an off brand at the dealership and they told me I have to go to the dealership to get this uh, fixed because no other place will take it. So I went to the dealership, it cost like almost a hundred bucks to do it so um, right now we are at zero in car maintenance which is kind of a bummer because in August like late August early September is when my tags are due so I need to make sure like coming like this next month next this month and next month I have to focus solely on car maintenance to make sure I have enough for my registrations and my tags as well as anything that I have to get fixed so it is an older vehicle and I know I'm gonna have to do maintenance more maintenance on there so I need to make sure I step this envelope um, again uh, but right now it's going to get 20 wellness is going to get nothing medical is going to get nothing like it's OGS wellness I am doing a laser treatment I haven't done my appointment yet um, but I did put down a deposit and medical I am paying off two medical bills and then once we're done paying that off we can save again for this one Travel is going to get 50, 20, 40, 50. And I'm actually gonna change out these two for 20. So travel now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 dollars. Emergency is going to get a $10 bill. An emergency now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200 dollars. Savings is going to get a $10 bill as well. And savings now has a 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200 dollars. Christmas is going to get a $10 bill. Christmas now. Hi, yes. This now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 310 dollars. Christmas has. 
Um, so that's all the stuffing that we're going to be doing for the cash envelopes. Now let's, we're going to move on to uh, my saving binder because we are going to do some savings. The other bill that we have, we're going to be putting it towards my $1 challenge. So I'm just going to throw it in here and then I'm going to color. I'm going to color in another square. I just want to go over um, our July challenge for this one. So the July challenge is the emergency fund challenge. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. So it says, it's time to boost up your emergency fund. Nothing is more important than being prepared for the unexpected. For July, I challenge you to add additional $200 to your emergency fund. To complete this challenge, an online saving transfer for $50 every single Sunday. You can customize this challenge by saving more or less, but the money you save must go towards your emergency fund savings. So right now my emergency fund is at $200. So at, by the end of this month, it's going to be at a total of well, at least $400. So we're gonna be saving $200 towards my emergency fund. It says to find extra $50 every week to save, you can decrease another budget category. Get rid of monthly subscriptions, complete no spend days, or use unexpected income. I'm gonna be using unexpected income for the first $100. I wanna send the 15, we're gonna be getting the child tax credit. Um, they're gonna be depositing into every bank account on the 15th if you opt in for it. Um, so I will be using $100 of that to go towards my emergency fund. And then on the last two Sundays, I will probably be using my paycheck to do that too as well. Or let me see if I can cut corners or save something from our trip to bring back to see if I can put in emergency fund. So that is this month's um, challenge. So I will let you guys know at the end of the month how much we saved and where we saved it from. Um, and then my next um, cash stuffing, we're gonna be stuffing we're going to be stuffing all of the weeks because we skipped this week. We're going to be stuffing um, week 9, 10, 11, and 12. So by the end of this month, we should be having a total of $300 for this Christmas challenge. And then for um, for the 52-week challenge, we're going to be stuffing week 23, 24, 25, 26 all together as well. So stay tuned to that for that. Um, like I said, this one was a little bit shorter, a little bit easier. Um, I am saving and I am paying off debt. And that's where a lot of the money is going to. But if you guys like videos like this, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye guys.